Hey everyone, welcome to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm back again with another pick a card reading. This reading is, will this person make a move? For the reading, I'm going to talk about, will he make a move? But to be honest, these can represent both men and women. So it could be, will she make a move? So, you know, take whatever resonates with you. Also, these are general readings. So... Take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try and make the messages fit your individual situation if it's not resonating. And I just want to say a really big thank you to everyone who has liked, shared and subscribed to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. So I've got three sets of cards. Number one is the shell. Number two is the citrine stone. And number three is the rose quartz angel. So I'll give you a few moments to really tune into the energies of the cards so you can pick whichever one resonates with you the most. Okay, so this is set of cards number one, which is the shell. And I'm using the traditional Rider Waite Tarot today, which is my favourite deck of all time. So will this person make a move? We have the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Wands and the Lovers. So clarifying the Eight of Cups, we have the Three of Swords. Sorry, Seven of Cups. Clarifying the Eight of Swords in reverse, we have the Ace of Cups. Clarifying the Ten of Swords in reverse, we have the Five of Wands. Clarifying the Nine of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. And clarifying the Lovers, we have the Fool in reverse. So the next set of cards is my own creation, Messages from the Divine Masculine. Will this person make a move? We have, I'm repri reprioritizing. What does she think of me? You deserve the best. Please be patient with me and I follow my gut. <clears throat> so from the Universal Love Oracle, we have Sacred Union and Earth Connection. From the True Love reading cards, we have Yin and Yang and Spiritual Maturity. And from the Romance Angels Oracle cards, we have True Love and Chemistry. Okay. So what I'm feeling with this person is... When you entered their life, they were in confusion about whether to take your connection seriously or not with this Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is a lot of options. I feel this person has been suffering for a long time with like a broken heart and low self-esteem, feelings of betrayal, all things like that. So they've kind of been in this dark energy where... I feel like they're overly cautious when it comes to making important decisions in their life. Um, they're afraid that if they take one of these cups, it's going to be the wrong cup because, you know, some of these are filled with positive things, some more negative. So this person's been feeling in the dark for quite a long time, not knowing what decision to make when it comes to you. I feel that they're actually beating themselves up about that as well because they feel as though they're not taking any action. They feel like they're stagnating for a long time. They're wishing like they have the confidence to make firm decisions, but overall there's this pain within them, this heartbreak. And swords represent the mind and perception so it's like some negative thought patterns or that negative self-image is what's really stabbing them in the heart it's <coughs> <coughs> they're not 
their thoughts are really sabotaging their intuition as well because to me the intuition comes through like the heart chakra <coughs> excuse me I was hoping I wouldn't be coughing so much in this reading <coughs> I'm reprioritizing so there is a sense that this person knows that they need to make some kind of important and life-changing decision in their life but it's like they keep second guessing um, what their heart's telling them to do and that's causing them heartbreak as well because they feel like they're putting you on hold <coughs> and I'm feeling as though this person's not really feeling as though they have much to provide for you because I feel as though they struggle even like looking after themselves. And overall, I'm just feeling this person has a lot of sorrow. But yeah, I'm reprioritizing. They are trying to get clear within their mind about what's serving them in their life and what isn't serving them what's really truly important in the long run as a ter as opposed to you know just going through the motions in their day-to-day -day life because they're realizing like they're getting nowhere when they're going in circles so there's the eight of swords in reverse with the ace of cups and what does she think of me so yeah I feel this heartbreak is to do with that because they feel like they need to step forward and truly offer you something tangible, but they're not doing that. <coughs> I feel that overall, they're really afraid to take up one of these cups and choose love, choose to follow their heart, because they have been heartbroken in the past, and therefore they're shielding their heart. But they're sick and tired of this, they're tired of this um, fear that they're kind of been stuck within for a long time and so with this eight of swords in reverse this is saying that they're slowly releasing themselves from limiting thought patterns limiting beliefs that have kept them stuck because this eight of swords is all about someone who believes that they're stuck and imprisoned and sort of rooted to the spot and can't do anything about it but because the swords are about mind and perception it's really just their way of seeing things <clears throat> not seeing the truth because they have this blindfold on not seeing the truth that you know these swords aren't really caging them in they could walk away quite easily but in reverse it's more positive because it's saying that slowly they are releasing themselves from overthinking over analyzing you know thinking the worst case scenarios and things like that they want to offer you this ace of cups but they have, what does she think of me? I feel like this is what's kept them stuck. Like obsessive kind of fears about what you think of them. <clears throat> I feel this is someone who bases their sense of self-worth on other people's opinions of them. And this has likely led them to wear some kind of masks or trying to mould themselves to be how they think other people want them to be. And with you, it's like they're required to be their true self. Um, and they're just feeling very anxious about that because basically they're not loving their true self and that's why they've tried to change who they are and hide who they are. But they're realising that's just kept them stuck in this place of heartbreak and fear. <clears throat> So they're wanting to reach out and offer you this cup of love. But also this is about them wanting to receive love. They have difficulties in receiving is what I'm feeling. I feel this is someone who has likely been someone that overgives to um, people who sort of trigger their wounding. Giving to emotionally unavailable people <clears throat> and not being able to tr 
receive like true love or have that deep connection with someone who can truly see them for who they truly are. But they are liberating themselves from negative thought patterns and this is allowing them to open their heart because to me, the cups represent the heart. So they've been stuck for a long time in this heartbreak and you know, a lot of negative thinking that's kept them stuck. And now this is like the heart awakening. Peace is coming into their heart represented by this dove here. And this is helping them see the truth of their own worth and like who they truly are. Because I feel like they've lost touch with who they truly are because they've tried to please other people for so long but they lost touch with their true self so this is like clarity flowing in like i said to me the heart represents the gateway to our soul's intuition so that will be overflowing their heart chakra will be overflowing with truth clarity love for self and you know we can only give and receive love once we truly love ourselves <clears throat> So they had the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Five of Wands and you deserve the best. So yeah, again, I feel this is a similar kind of energy to the Three of Swords. They've experienced a lot of heartbreak, maybe even betrayal in the past. I feel as though this person is beating themselves up because they realize they're very self-destructive. And that's like their ego's way of trying to stay in a comfort zone and protect themselves from future heartbreak and things like that. Some of them for a long time, it's like <clears throat> deep down they, they've always known it's just their own way of negative thinking that's holding them back. And yet at the same time, that's still creating a comfort zone for them. So they've been in some kind of resistance to truly release these self-destructive patterns and behaviours. But I also feel this person has been experiencing a lot of conflict with other people in their life. So that's why they've had their guard up. That's why they felt like they had to prove themselves in their life in general. And I feel like there's a lot of conflict going, in, going on in their day-to-day -day life. And so it's hard for them to sort of switch gears and be open and vulnerable with you at this time, although they want to be. <clears throat> they know that you deserve the best, but they feel as though, you know, they don't want to drag any kind of drama into your life, is what I'm feeling. And... You know, if they feel as though they're not even there for themselves, they they certainly know that they can't be there for you until they have, you know, greater self-esteem within themselves. <clears throat> With this, you deserve the best. I feel that they are kind of putting you on a pedestal as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of conflict going on in their life. I feel like this is their physical life. So conflict with other people. And I feel as though people have been trying to tear this person down for a very long time, maybe throughout their whole lives. And they're really trying to just stand strong and get through it. Um, and they're trying to figure out how to truly liberate themselves from toxicity or karmic situations or these negative thought patterns like beating themselves up as well they have please be patient with me so yeah there's definitely some kind of karma that they're dealing with and that they need to fully complete <clears throat> but I feel they are almost near this completion because the final cards are, are much much more positive So the two of wands in reverse, yeah, they're trying to stand strong. This is like them trying to juggle all sorts of things. The ocean is very stormy, which represents their emotions. 
they may have tried to avoid their emotional pain for a long time by distracting themselves, by doing a lot of things in their day-to-day -day life. But whenever I see the Two of Pentacles in reverse, to me, it represents something's got to give. Like they've been juggling too much for so long that one of these pentacles like is going to fall away. Something's falling away from their life that isn't serving them. <clears throat> And I don't know, I, I just really feel as though this person's been trying to hold everything together, but it's like clutching at straws or just seeing like things slipping through their fingers. But And it's like they're afraid of that because even though it's not serving them, it's become their comfort zone. And it's kind of all they've ever known. Um but it's fallen away because it's simply not serving them. And I feel like the universe is intervening with that. <clears throat> so they have the lovers. And to me, this is representing your connection with the fool. Like they're, they're having this intuition because there's this, I follow my gut. So they're, they're having this intuition they had this heart awakening, the awakening of their intuition that you are um, their soulmate or their twin flame. But they're afraid to take that leap of faith. They're afraid of looking foolish with this fall in reverse. For some, this could represent a choice between two people as well. Often that's what the lovers represents. And to me, it's like, are they going to follow their fear or follow their heart, how they truly feel? I feel this person, they're going inwards a lot. I, I'm seeing them as quite isolated or they're just isolating themselves. They're not really communicating their truth to anyone around them. Um <clears throat> But this isolation is what's actually causing this heart awakening and giving them the time and space to see things clearly. But I still feel as though they're not going to like make a move or take action with you um, for quite a long time. Because <clears throat> I just feel as though they have a lot of overthinking going on and it self-sabotages them so there's sacred union and earth connection so to me this is like the balance of the 5d union and it will blossom and take root like this tree into an earth earthly like 3d connection and it's because they'll be following their heart and there's also yin and yang. So this is about balance. So this could be like your twin flame with this sacred union and the yin and yang, the balance of the masculine and feminine. So there is going to be balance restored between you, but also relationships are always a reflection of yourself and your own energy and whatever your subconscious beliefs are as well, because whatever we believe manifests or whatever vibration we're in manifests. <clears throat> so you are reflections of each other in many, many ways. And there's spiritual maturity. So this comes from insight. You know, there's a third eye at the top of this mountain. But like I said, I still feel like there's a fair way to go. But I feel like this person is more willing to kind of work with you rather than being totally resistant of your connection. So my advice would be like, enjoy the journey, even though that's a lot more easier said than done, rather than, you know, just getting stuck on some kind of um, goal or conclusion or the, you know, the end goal. Because that's when there's expectations and expectations often are what create like our disappointment and our emotional pain. 
<clears throat> so they're realising that your connection is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And there's also this chemistry card. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So my advice to you as the viewer would be to keep loving yourself, doing what's right for you. Don't put your life on hold or anything like that. And, you know, be in your own oneness. And by that I mean <clears throat> try and look beyond, like, what your mind's telling you because that's often where a lot of frustration and pain comes in as well. And just try to be in the peace of, like, your heart because your heart knows the truth. And I feel this person will... Um, for some of you, they will make a move when the time is right. Because there's this earth connection. So it's saying that it will develop in the 3D. But again, I just feel as though if you're really, really holding on to that, then it's going to slow down your, your progress in your own life and it's just going to create a lot of pain and frustration for you. So I know it's so much easier said than done, but just go with the flow with your life <clears throat> and don't put yourself on hold at all. So I really hope this reading has resonated and if it has, then please like, share and subscribe and I'll be back again really soon with another pick a card reading so thank you so much So this is set of cards number two, which is the citrine stone. Will this person make a move? And I'm using the traditional wide awake tarot today. So we have the six of pentacles, the ten of pentacles in reverse, the star, the six of swords, and the knight of wands. So clarifying the six of pentacles, we have the hanged man. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> Clarifying the Star, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Clarifying the Six of Swords, we have the Emperor. And clarifying the Knight of Wands, we have the King of Cups. So the next set of cards is called the Messages from the Divine Masculine. And we have Slow Down. I screwed up, I express myself differently to you, I'm embracing my power and I'm working towards our future. So from, from the Universal Love Oracle we have Divine Guidance, Sorrow, <coughs> from the True Love Reading Cards we have the Divine Feminine, and boundaries and from the um it's gone out of my head flirt romance angels oracle cards and express your love so the first cards the six of pentacles clarified by the hanged man so i'm feeling like you were this character here, which represents generosity. I feel like you were giving an abundance of love because six is the number of love. You were giving a lot of love to this person. But I feel as though they were in this beggar kind of position here where they couldn't give back to you equally. <clears throat> and it caused a lot of pause. In, in your connection. I feel like this person retreats a lot and goes inwards, but it's so that they can have this 
reach this like halo of light surrounding their head, find the truth. So they may have been like telling you to slow down, either like literally or indirectly. <clears throat> But here's the thing, what I'm picking up with this Six of Pentacles. Even though you are giving a lot of like love to this person, I also feel there's a paradox here, or it's like the law of opposites here, because I feel like you've also been like these beggars here. Um, you know, this won't apply to everyone watching this, but for some of you, I feel as though deep down... Um, there's emotional wounds within you to do with abandonment and rejection. <clears throat> and, you know, I'm only saying this because I've been through this myself. And I, I feel like most people do. So wounds of abandonment and rejection. And so we can try and become this, like, perfect person or this person that gives and gives and gives a lot. Because deep down we're looking for... Um, that to be reciprocated and that to be returned back to us from people who clearly can't give you that because they're in like a low vibration or they're in a lack of self-esteem. <coughs> so take what resonates. But for me personally, when I went through this, I was acting like this character here, giving, giving, giving my love, my time, nurturing, attention, <clears throat> and deep down I couldn't really see that I was also the beggar you know I was um looking for this person to reciprocate that when they clearly couldn't and it was like a, a subconscious reflection of how I felt as a child when it came to like my parents and family like seeking their love seeking their approval you know we can often do many things to try and prove our worth to our parents <clears throat> excuse me to our parents um so it, it was it was that kind of dynamic subconsciously playing out um within this connection with this other person and often you know we can invest and give and give and give so much because we feel as though the more we give, the, the more we're creating certainty that one day this person's going to give back equally. <clears throat> so maybe try and be aware of that because whatever vibration we are in, we attract back to ourselves or we manifest back to ourselves. So for me personally, and you know, this may trigger some of you watching this but for me personally when I played the role of this character it made me feel good about myself in certain ways it made me feel as though I was superior I guess um I could pretend to myself that I was healed and I was the one like elevated up here and I was just giving generously but deep down <clears throat> It was kind of an act because it wasn't making me feel good on all levels. It was making me feel as though I was being taken for granted. It was making me feel as though I didn't have healthy boundaries and that I was continuing to give and give and give even though sometimes I felt a bit disrespected by this other person. So I feel that's a really important message For some of you. And if you're still kind of in that energy, then it's creating a massive pause in your life. For some of you, this may be like a really important lesson <clears throat> that you're supposed to learn about self esteem and about not seeking like approval or love or acceptance outside of yourself. It's all about, um, it's like a karmic pattern to make you really slow down and see the truth that only you can determine how worthy you feel within yourself. And looking outside of self never works for that because we subconsciously give away our personal power to other people and, you know, if this person 
if if the other person turns around and does something that doesn't validate you anymore, then it can completely crush you if you've placed all your sense of self-worth on them and their actions and their reactions to you. So for some, I feel this is a massive lesson. <clears throat> Slow down. I feel as though this cycle may have been going on for a long time and with this slow down, it's really making you feel stagnant. For some of you, I feel there needs to be this acceptance that this isn't, this situation, this experience isn't about this other person giving back equally. I feel it's a lesson in you need to give that to yourself. <laughs> And I feel a lot of you have been through this experience with someone and you have had this realisation and I feel like you've moved on from that person or you've just moved on basically from that karma. You've learnt the lesson. <clears throat> Some of you are quite content to move forward now beyond like this person because you realize I don't, I don't know it's almost like the spell's been broken because you've learned the lesson whereas before a lot of this attraction to the other person was because deep down it was like your inner child was really 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 wanting that love and approval and that was what was keeping you sort of tied to this person but now you've learned the lesson and you've healed that and you see the truth of that it's like for some of you, it's broken the spell. So you're no longer resonating with that old connection and you are literally just moving forward and you've raised your vibration. But for some, I feel this is making the other person feel as though they screwed up <clears throat> because they weren't giving back to you equally. Some of them were involved with other people. This could be like a marriage that's not really working out. Again, it's like this card, the main focus is on this man here, this old man, and this represents he's provided all this stability for his family, and he feels like that's his role, and that gives him meaning in his life in reverse. <clears throat> this person just hasn't felt stable within themselves. They've not felt as though they could be this good provider. I feel this person has experienced a lot of toxicity and karmic situations where people have um, heavily like criticised them and it's made them feel as though nothing that they have to offer is ever good enough. So they're in a lot of like they've been sort of stuck in this darkness of their own mind. This is like sleepless nights, thinking worst case scenarios, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. And I do feel as though they, they feel as though they screwed up with you. So both of you have this lesson to learn from each other. I feel as though this other person still hasn't really understood the lesson. <clears throat> so they're having some kind of regrets. <laughs> Um, and they may still be like holding on to your connection more than what you are because <clears throat> you've found this like balance and healing and stability you've had this clarity these seven stars represent the chakras alignment healing you're no longer wearing a mask. You're no longer trying to be this character which is subconsciously like the people pleaser that you felt you had to be in childhood. You're now just being yourself, naked and vulnerable. And you had this balance because she's got one foot in the water which is like emotionally you're balanced but you're balancing that out like in your day-to-day -day life as well. You're really living the truth of who you are 
I feel like a lot of you have graduated or really soon will graduate from the lessons. Doesn't necessarily mean that this connection is like totally over with this person. Some of you it will be and you'll realize it was just a karmic situation or a karmic connection to learn lessons. Others of you, <clears throat> you're just much more at peace with the realization that this person is like a soulmate or a twin flame or soul family member and you're at peace like you've you've learned the lesson so you're at peace within yourself so you know you're no longer like needing anything from them or holding out out for that you're realizing and I know this is meant to be about will this other person make a move but these are just the strong messages that are coming through <clears throat> you're realizing that you are investing in the wrong things so you've taken this time to step back because for a long time you weren't really stepping back to see the bigger picture because you had an end goal in mind and that was the wounded like inner child seeking that outside validation but now I feel you took the time or some of you really soon will take the time to really take a step back and realizing that you were planting a lot of seeds and they weren't they weren't paying off or it just wasn't like um balanced or harmonious it just felt like a struggle or a strain <clears throat> and so you're no longer willing to invest your time and energy in things that aren't serving you i mean if you're if you're like a twin flame or you've been involved or been watching the twin flame community there is a lot of pressure on the divine feminine especially to you know, love unconditionally and, you know, we're often made to feel guilty if we, you know, take a step back and stop overgiving and stop investing in this. But, you know, you've got to do what feels right. You know, don't listen to um, <clears throat> anyone who says that, you know, you've got to just keep giving and giving and giving if deep down you're not feeling good about that and it's eating away at your self-esteem. I express myself differently to you. I feel this person has had difficulties expressing themselves like verbally. They may um, show you how they feel you know, these days, a lot of people show the other person how they feel like on social media. And I feel that will resonate with some of you. Some of you, I feel like you've taken offense because they don't express themselves in the same way that you do. But there is that book, which I haven't actually read, but it's called something like The Five Love Languages. And it's all about how different people express themselves in different ways. <clears throat> now that you've found balance I feel like this person may also realize that they've been investing in the wrong sort of things but I do feel like I said that relationships are reflections of ourselves so once you've realized something major you've learned the lesson from this this person is starting to learn a lot from it as well like they're seeing the truth as well some of them are moving away from um, the choppy waters into the calmer waters, into a brighter future. They're moving away from their own like mental like patterns that weren't serving them. So this is like the subconscious beliefs. For example, looking outside of ourselves for validation. So a lot of them are moving away from karmic situations and negative thought patterns and for some of you this is you you're moving away <clears throat> both of you I feel are taking control of your life yeah because we have I'm embracing my power so <coughs> I feel like many of you were subconsciously giving away your power to this person 
by placing your sense of self-worth on their reactions to you and the outcome and then things would just kept going in circles and stagnating so you, you finally learned from that and realized you deserve better so you've moved on you've taken control of your life and I feel this person is soul family to you and so as a reflection of your raised vibration they're also moving away from negative karmic patterns in their life but also I feel they will be moving away from their codependency on you as well like <clears throat> they've been looking to you for validation I feel like they were looking to you to kind of mother them in the way that they felt like their own mother wasn't nurturing them and so they were like they became dependent on that and they're releasing their unhealthy attachments to you as well. And if that fills you with like, like a sense of dread that they're releasing attachment to you, then that kind of shows that you've been like basing a, a sense of like need on them, like needing you which isn't so great. And again, you know, I'm not judging anyone because I've been through this myself. So Knight of Wands, <clears throat> they may try and like rush back into your life with a lot of passion. King of Cups, they're feeling like their emotions, they're f like their deep love for you. They felt like they screwed up. And they may be saying things like, I'm working towards our future. <laughs> but... Again, you know, take whatever resonates. I feel a lot of you, you've already moved on. Or you're ready to. Because you're just sick and tired of this feeling of stagnation and it's just no longer resonating with you. So I feel like you're working towards your future. And you just want this other person to be happy. Like, you know that you'll always have this soul connection with them because they're soul family but I feel like you're passionately moving <clears throat> moving forward in your own life you may have met someone who is truly the embodiment of the king of cups who's emotionally balanced and has an open heart and can be there for you Some of you are like meeting your match in terms of if you're like genuinely this really giving person, you've some of you have met someone else who's equally as giving and then there is this balance of give and take. And you may be working towards your future with this new person. Um, so divine guidance and sorrow I feel like some of you sorry what I was going to say I forgot to say it this person may try and make a move on you or they're making moves on you but now you're like <clears throat> it's like you're no longer sort of falling for what they're saying like they may have been saying to you for a long time like giving you false promises or they hoped they could provide you with this or that but then they they never really could so now you're kind of just taking what they say with a pinch of salt I feel like a lot of you have like this peace like you don't have a resentment towards this person anymore but and it's literally because you've released attachment you've you've learned that lesson you listen to your divine guidance. You went through this sorrow, and this is like the sorrow of um, more. It's almost like mourning the loss of that dream that you held on to for so long because it was never fully manifesting into a reality. So I, I know this is like a really tough message for some of you to hear because I feel like. Some of you aren't in this place of truly accepting that. 
<clears throat> some of these people they're in sorrow now because they ignored like their divine guidance they all saw you as this divine feminine but I feel like because this card's come out with it they had boundaries against you but that doesn't necessarily mean that's a bad thing because if you were subconsciously like having all these expectations and giving and giving and giving because you're expecting them to give back and basically fill in like your wounds and voids, then it's kind of understandable that someone would have like boundaries up against you because I've experienced that as well, like the other end of that was someone, where I was with someone and they were expecting me to um, make them happy and be responsible for their happiness and I couldn't, I literally couldn't do that because they weren't happy within themselves and then they had a ton of unrealistic expectations of me and they just put this massive heavy weight on my shoulders which wasn't my responsibility, so... Again, this may trigger some of you, but that may be what's happened. <clears throat> so flirt and express your love. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So yeah, some of them, they realize you're, you're moving away or that you've moved away from them, like emotionally, energetically, you've released expectations you're at peace um with moving forward without them but like i said you'll always be like connected on that deep level but you're okay for it to kind of just stay like as that um so yeah, they've definitely sensed this or you've actually told them or whatever, but they may be like trying to flirt and put in more effort and express their love and like trying to make moves on you in that way. But, you know, really listen to your intuition. I feel like some of you, if you, you're not at this place of acceptance, <clears throat> then you may kind of fall into a trap of of them trying to like keep you like hanging on but if you're at peace you know you're totally going to like see through that so i hope this message has been helpful i know it's quite a difficult message and i i feel like <clears throat> i'll probably get some thumbs down for it but oh well <laughs> um and if it has resonated, then please like, share and subscribe. I really appreciate that. That will really help me out. And if you subscribe, please tap the little bell icon and it will inform you every time I release a new video. And I'll be back again really soon with more Pick a Card readings. Thank you. This is set of cards number three, which is the Rose Quartz Angel. Will this person make a move? And I'm using the Wide Awake Tarot today. Ace of Swords. Page of Cups. Eight of Cups. Page of Wands. Nine of Cups. <coughs> So clarifying the Ace of Swords, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Clarifying the Page of Cups, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Clarifying the Eight of Cups, we have the King of Swords in reverse. Clarifying the Page of Wands, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And clarifying the Nine of Cups, we have the Sun. 
<clears throat> so the next set of cards are called messages from the divine masculine what's my purpose i want to do things right i just want to be happy i'm so happy and thank you so from the universal love oracle we have golden path and embrace from the true love reading cards we have compatibility and abundance and from the romance angels oracle cards we have attraction and finances and career <clears throat> So I'm feeling like really positive energy from this set of cards. There is a lot of movement, a move, movement towards love, embracing your connection, abundance, attraction, walking down that golden path. Ace of Swords. This is all about taking action, action towards a new beginning. This is seen clearly. There's a crown here. It represents success. It represents this king of swords energy, even though it's in reverse here. I feel this person is mastering their king of swords energy, which is speaking their truth, living their truth, seeing the truth. It's all about clarity, being clear with you, communication, communicating clearly what they want, how they're feeling. This is cutting ties with things that aren't serving them. It's a brand new beginning. And it's clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. To me, this is the Knight that wants to build firm foundations. They want to do things right. They don't want to just rush in because there aren't any like Knights in this reading, which is movement, but it's like fast movement. You know, as if <laughs> there aren't any of the other Knights is what I mean. This is the slowest night in the whole deck. <clears throat> but it's because they want to plant the seeds well. They're willing to take their time in order to do things thoroughly, create that um, foundation in a thorough way. And I, in all honesty, that's what you want. What's my purpose? So... Your connection inspires them to feel deeper meaning in their life. And I feel like it's giving them the courage or um, the enthusiasm. You may have sparked this deeper enthusiasm for them to really work on their purpose and what brings them deep meaning. And I feel it's something that resonates with you as well, like... Whatever their purpose and meaning in life is kind of harmonious <clears throat> with you in many ways because there's this compatibility card. I feel like there's a lot of compatibility here. And this reminds me of like serendipity as well. Like you crossed paths and there's this compatibility. And it brings a lot of abundance. So yeah, I feel this person... Feels a lot of inspiration, has this clarity of what their purpose is, and it inspires them to work deeper on their purpose and really cultivate that and grow that. So there's this page of cups. So this is communication in love. This is someone that's honest with you. You can take them at face value because there's a lot of blue. You know, he's wearing blue, which is the color of the throat chakra. So speaking clearly, clearly, like expressing his true self, I feel like you provide like the space with this person and this the experience for this person to be able to like express their truth. This card is also about a surprise because there's like this fish popping out of the cup. So you may have come as a surprise to them. <clears throat> they weren't expecting this. Um, I 
They're seeing you as this Queen of Pentacles. This is someone that's stable, grounded, like nurturing. This is kind of like the mother figure in the tarot. Looking out for other people, but also, you know, looking out for yourself. This is, you know, you're not like overgiving and burning yourself out. You're recognizing the importance of looking after yourself as well as, you know, looking after other people. And yeah, we have, I want to do things right. I feel, because these cards are facing each other, you're very stable, and they're stable as well. <clears throat> and this knight is coming forward with this offer. It's almost like this knight has a pentacle that he's offering. And then, you know, th this person wants to give in the right way, and be like a provider in the right way. And you're in a place of stability where you can receive. Because, you know, if we look at the masculine and feminine energies, overall, it's like the masculine thrives on like providing or giving and the queen thrives on receiving. Obviously, when you're in balance, there's an equal give and take of that. But I feel this person feels really inspired because you, um, I don't know how to word it. <clears throat> they can basically, they have a lot to give is what I'm feeling. And you're the, the person that can truly receive all that they have to give. Perhaps they've experienced people in the past who couldn't really receive love because they weren't loving themselves. <clears throat> and yeah, I want to do things right. I feel both of you do. You want things like stable. There's this sense of maturity within your connection. And that's why I'm feeling all these positive energies. I feel like both of you have experienced you may have recently or throughout your life experienced some sort of karmic situations or <clears throat> controlling people or people that have criticized you, but you're both walking away from that now or you've already walked away from that because there's, I just want to be happy. So I feel both of you have gone, gone through a lot of karmic lessons and for some of you, you're at this place where you graduated those lessons and therefore this person is like the reflection of, of you, of each other, like that healing. You're, basically, you're both ready for something like stable and balanced and true, like being your true selves not feeling like you have to wear a mask like you may have felt you had to wear with other people in the past. Basically, both of you, I'm feeling, have much more self-love and self-awareness, awareness of those old limiting or negative or toxic patterns which were like a manifestation of a lack of self-esteem both of you've graduated so you've moved on from that toxicity you realize you deserve happiness <clears throat> so there's movement here also when i see this eight of cups it's like you moved through like the energy of the moon card you faced your fears of loss with people in the past. You know, you were brave enough to know you deserved better and that you wanted to be happy. So you took back your personal power, is what I'm feeling, and raised your self-esteem. So there's this new beginning because karmic cycles completed you became the strength here was this sphinx, this lion with the sword. And that's like that ace of swords, clarity. You cut free from the devil energy. 
you're now on the top of this wheel. In the past, I feel like it was the devil on top. It was like both of you had this sort of energy of the wheel of fortune in reverse in the past, where your fears, your inner demons, toxicity, it's like karma, it's like soul contracts that you um, <clears throat> had with other people to really trigger your deep wounding so you could overcome, heal and release that. Both of you, I feel, stuck in a negative karmic cycles. But now you're free to have this new beginning with each other because you've graduated that karmic cycle. You've come out of it. You've come out of them. You know, you, you got off that merry-go-round. No longer going in circles. There's a new path. And you're happy about it. feel a lot of joy. This is yellow, which is the colour of the solar plexus chakra, which is about self-esteem and your free will, like you took back your personal power by knowing your own worth. And now you have this free will and are creating this new beginning. And it's bringing you a lot of fulfillment. This is the wishes come true card or the deep fulfillment card. And it's clarified by the sun, which is one of the most positive cards in the whole deck. This is about joy, peace, being your true self, going on the path of your highest good, being grounded, <clears throat> a lot of self-esteem, excitement, spontaneity like a child is what I'm feeling. Instead of always feeling like guarded with other people and feeling like you have to wear masks or be careful of, you know, basically w walking on eggshells with other people. Thank you. I feel this is about both of you being grateful. This person's grateful to have met you, and so are you. And it's a lot of joy. It's like this golden path has opened up. So this always reminds me, this Eight of Cups, of the Moon card, going down that path of the Moon, the subconscious, the like the darkness, the fears, the wounds, in order to clear them out and bring clarity. And that cycle has completed. You've graduated that. So now you're on this golden path, um, which is the path of your highest good, basically. it's To me, it represents like a path where, you know, you're living your day-to-day -day life, but you're very connected with the divine, you're very connected with your purpose. And there's this embrace. So this person's going to embrace you and your connection and vice versa. Because there's this compatibility. <clears throat> And they're realizing this and there's just this abundance. So many new doors of opportunity have opened up, have opened up. Um, so this is like just an overall energy of abundance. But for some, it could represent finances and career as well. Um, it could be having this abundance in that way opening up and i all i feel it's all like related to both of you have raised your vibration and therefore you're naturally resonating and attracting much more positive experiences in your life because yeah attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so to me this is like that magnetic attraction or the law of attraction like um because you took the time to really honour yourselves and love yourselves. The pink of the roses and the green, both of those colours represent the heart chakra. Because you raised your vibration by loving yourself and walking away from things which didn't feel self-loving in the past. Now that's what's created this law of attraction of your connection with this person deepening and blossoming and growing so i really hope this reading has resonated and if it has then please like share and subscribe 
And if you subscribe, please um, tap the little bell icon and that will inform you every time I receive I release a new reading. So I'll be back again really soon with more pick a card readings. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.